Bruce, let's go back for just a minute and talk about life experience. I, I got into okay. this hobby when I was about 10 years old. I'm 76 now. So there's 66 years of the hobby. Yeah. You've been in it longer than I have. And yeah. when and you look at some of these YouTubes and some of these people, they're younger. I started, I started about the same age as you, though. Uh-huh. When, I mean, my And parents, you're how old now? I'm uh, 80 years old. 80 years old. So you've been in the hobby about 70 years. That's right. And you've been in business for a good number of years. For 38 years. So that's a different life experience that oh, you yeah. have all those tanks and you got to manage it from a profit standpoint. That's right. And then th when you had that store in right. Metuchen, New Jersey, yeah. did you also have tanks at home? Or was it just uh, in the store? Well, I think when I had the store, I just had the. Uh, the uh, tanks in the store and that's all. Okay. I didn't have time to mess with it at home. Uh, that's what I, I'm not surprised just, at that. just took up too much of my time. I mean, uh, it was not uncommon for me to work 60, 70 hour a week. Yeah. Just just the way things work. Yeah. A couple of the YouTubes I've been watching, um, Fish Co-op for example is one. He has a store, he's been in 10 years now and does a beautiful job. We'll talk more about that later. But he also has some tanks at home, and so he gets to pick some of the uh, stuff that he buys to take home and okay. populate his tanks. So he's got a, I'm going to say it's a puffer that has such a personality. And evidently these puffers, one, they're hard to get. I mean, he can't get what he orders. If he orders oh. five, he's lucky if he gets one. Really? They sell for like $199, even a small size. But he's got customers lined up waiting for them. Yeah. And they have a personality. I mean, well, they do have that. I'll, I'll give it that. But they got a set of choppers on them that they can do most any fish in. Well, he shows that because he and on the video he shows them feeding the shells, the, the frozen oysters or whatever they are. Sure. And boy, they crunch up the shell. And he said they have to do that, otherwise their teeth will grow so much that they can't well, eat. That's true. So they actually sharpen with that process. Yeah. But, but if you have them in a tank with other fish. They can do the other fishing as well. He did have one big tank with just the one fish. <clears throat> and evidently it was like the mascot of the store. Okay. Everybody comes, everybody knows the name of this fish. They come in to interact with this fish. Okay. And uh, so, and he lost that one. That one died on oh, him. Really? And it took him a while to get another one. But okay. he said he got all sorts of correspondence from his YouTube stuff about poor whatever the name of the fish was. And you don't know the name of the fish. Huh? It was a, a given name, you know, like Bruce or something oh, like that. Okay. And so everybody knew the fish by yeah, that, okay. that okay. first name, okay?